Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you how to use conditional formatting to highlight an entire row based on two conditions, not just one. So in my example, in column E, I have states, and in column F, I have an advertising source. And I'm going to say if someone's in California and they figured out and they used the advertising source Google Ads, I want to make that entire row a background color or a fill color yellow, green, I don't care what color, let's just do it. So always with conditional formatting, highlight your range. You want to apply conditional formatting too. So I selected from A2 to J36. I'm on the Home tab up in the top left corner. Go to Conditional Formatting, New Rule, use a formula. Let me move this box just a little bit out of the way so you can see this. So I'm saying if California is in column E and Google Ads is in column F, put it in a background color. So let's use the AND function in Excel. And the first thing we're going to evaluate is column E. I'm going to do a dollar sign E2 equals California, which is CA. And the reason the dollar sign is there is I'm only looking in column E. And I started highlighting row two. So to go to E2, E3, E4, comma. The second thing we're going to evaluate is column F. So it's the same steps. Dollar sign F2 equals Google Ads. Hit the word format. Go to the fill tab. And I'm going to do green. You can pick whatever color you want. Hit OK and click OK. And it worked. There's California Google Ads. Let's test it. I'm going to make that CA. And I'm going to change it to radio, and I hope the conditional formatting turns off, and it does. Put Google Ads in, and it comes back. So that's how you do conditional formatting using an AND function. Feel free to call me if you need Microsoft Excel training. Thank you.